Video diary day four. Lots of contradictory thoughts today. Um, being in the coaching industry, there's always so much um, great advice and also um, inspiration, but there's a lot of contradiction too. And I'm kind of wrestling with the contradictive thoughts today. Here's an example. You are the magic. You are the power. You are your own creator. And also the energy that you show up in dictates how it will be received. Let me give you some examples of this. Um, especially when people are doing social media selling, whether it's coaching or um, stuff with products, a lot of the coaches are going to tell you, um, is this a piece of lint? Um, it's the energy behind your post. Okay. So if you're even, this could even be just for a selfie, you know what I mean? So if you're, if you're about to post something on Facebook and you're kind of sad, maybe, or you're just kind of glum, or you're not necessarily caring about whatever, and then you post, and you're not getting engagement. They say it's because of the energy behind it. However, if you like channel your highest self and your higher vibration and call in your magnetism and activate yourself and then put all this positive energy behind a certain post and then you post it with intention, you should get more engagement, right? Well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys can try this out. Let me know what you think about this because I really go back and forth with wondering like what if what if I just gave up? You know, what if I just said fuck it? I accept that I'm a nobody. I accept that I'm just shit. I accept that I've never known love and I may never um, and just gave up basically like because I've been at this for a long time and I don't know what the issue really is and I'm my new thing is kind of like to push forward is okay if you're in this healing community and you're always looking for an obstacle or a barrier you're going to find the barrier and I'm just a buffet of barriers it seems but what I want to do now what is this like kind of the new thing and I read that no, I didn't read. I was listening to somebody and they said, if you're skiing down a hill and you're telling yourself, avoid the trees, avoid the trees, avoid the trees, inevitably you're going to hit a tree because you're focusing on seeing the trees. Even if you're trying to avoid them, you're still going to see them because you're attempting to avoid them. 
if you're skiing down the hill and you're just like, I'm, I'm always finding an open pathway, I'm always finding an open pathway, then you're going to avoid the trees because you're always going to be focusing on a clear path ahead. That really clicked with me. And I was like, okay, I'm going to start just focusing on my clear path ahead. Like, okay, I'm done trying to look for issues. I'm done trying to like purposely decide where are these issues, you know, because let's face it, if life was good, I wouldn't be doing spiritual work. And I think that's another contradiction too. They say when you can like, um, when things do go good, like if you can be just as thankful as you are um, asking for help in your dark times, that's when things change too. Um, so it's just like a lot of confusion today. I'm trying to very much stay positive. I've done a lot of mirror work over the years. Um, and the crazy thing is certain people who I want in my life and I want them to talk to me like I'm not understanding why they're not talking to me um and I hate to even say that you know what I mean but I'm just being open here sometimes I feel like no matter what you do or no matter what I do it's out of my control and I'm not necessarily trying to control anything I don't want to control anything I just want to open myself up to being on the path of a life that's going to make me feel happy and meaningful so that's like another contradiction in and of itself because, you know, I do a lot of affirmations and I've been doing a lot of positive affirmations and, and, and I want to feel it in my body, you know, and I want to tangibly, physically see my energetic work pay off. Um, I've been trying to get my confidence up and in this challenge that we're doing, um, it's posting a selfie every day is part of that. And I have prior to joining this challenge, I knew I needed something to kind of kick my ass into motivation or whatever. Um, and I posted some selfies and what I was concentrating on in these selfies was I wanted to look beautiful. I decided to start putting my makeup on again. And my selfies pretty much, even though, like, I thought I looked pretty fucking fire, you know, like, uh, if you go back down, I think it might have even been day one or two when I had that orange outfit on, I really attempted to do a good job on my makeup. Um, it was probably one of the very first times I've done my makeup and a good job in, like, a month <laughs> but my selfies went unnoticed even though I you know I, I th thought I was putting good energy behind it um, and then someone even said oh are you okay your selfies you just look so sad and I'm like, I mean, no, I'm not okay. 
but I wasn't trying to like look like I wasn't okay. Um, I was trying to look pretty and I was trying to look attractive and I was, that's, that, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> um, and I can't hide probably if you see pain shining through my eyes, I can't help that. You know, I, I can't help, I can't help how I feel. Um, I'm trying to help that. I'm, I'm doing literally everything I can that I can think of and that I can afford to do, um, to change my experience in this world to that of being treated like a feminine should be treated. And sometimes I think why is it that some very average non self growth committed people are in relationships and I don't know the answer but I'm guessing because a lot more of the population doesn't give a fuck about bettering themselves or bettering the planet um So I've committed to doing these video diaries and that's just going to show like what is really how I feel certain days, I guess, you know, um, and then another part of me just tells myself, you know, I got to just do this relaxing while I can. Um, when my son's here with me, I like to be with him. I like to hang on to that as long as possible because these kids just grow so fast and I kind of should be back in the other room with him right now. He's doing his own activity right now, but we spent some time together this morning for a few hours, and that's when I'm, like, in the present moment of, like, I want to be there. I want to be, you know, I've always wanted to be with my kids. But wanting to be with my kids has cost me other aspects of my life that I can't get back. You know, um, it's made me be, be more protective about where I live, um, letting who, who I let in my life, kind of. Um, and while other people were cultivating friendships, I was busy caring for kids alone. And I wanted a partner more than anything. And I didn't know how to how to have one. I mean, I, I wanted one and I hoped for one and everyone that kind of came in and anybody I liked, I was like, Hey, I hope you stay, you know, like 
I don't know, like, I want to transform myself into a person who's wanted. Um, it's about to be one of those weekends where my son goes with his dad and his grandma, so it's basically when he leaves tonight. He's going to be gone for four days and as it's always been on these times when my kids are gone for their weekends, I just wished I had a boyfriend to be with me. You know, I just, I wanted some other aspect of life to fill that spot of where I'm usually just here doing the things with the kids and maybe that'll still happen you know I'm I'm waiting to be messaged <laughs> um I have a lot of people tell me that, that some of their guy friends think I'm cute, but I don't get messages, so I'm like, I don't know. Um, going through some of my stuff, I'm very uncomfortable in this shirt, actually. And I'm questioning myself as to why I'm wearing it. It's not comfortable to me. And I watched something that said, make an effort on how you might want to look, how, how you might want to appear. Don't just go for comfort. Because I could have just worn a hoodie, but I was attempting to look a little more put together. But, um... I don't know if I want to change. I don't know if I want to start going through my closet and really just getting rid of stuff I don't like. Even though I've bought so many clothes, I don't know when I'm ever going to wear them or to what would be appropriate where to wear them. I don't know what I really like. I mean, I do know what I really like, but then I also feel like I haven't really been living out what I really like. Um, I'm cold. This shirt is thin and it's cold. It's very cold coming through this window. I'm very uncomfortable. I thought it might look nice though, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm trying to do what I can to like, feel like I'm a person, I guess, I don't even know what to think. I spent a lot of time this morning posting on social media, um, trying to get my new business up and running and I had messaged a girl that I knew was really really into clean living and I, I like I, she's posted so much before about like how she feels about having clean water I've had conversations with her before because she was in another company that was also geared towards wellness and I, w I didn't feel like I was invasive or anything. I was like, hey, are you still with blah, blah, blah? And she's like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, well, hey, I know how important, um, you know, clean products are to you and stuff. And I just found this new company. Would you like to hear more? And she's like, no, thank you. And then blocked me. And I'm like... Is this what I'm doing now? People feel the need to block me. Um, 
I've sent like videos that I made and then it's like no response they don't say oh cool they don't say oh good luck they don't say oh where can I get some they don't say yeah I'll check out the link they don't even react with a thumbs up or a heart or anything and I'm like okay I'm invisible and then I saw this thing online where they were saying okay if you're feeling like you're invisible online or even in life posting more isn't the answer you got to go and get into your inner child and find out where you felt invisible and I'm like well okay that's been a lot so I did that last night while I was in the shower um, I was just sending so much love to that inner child that just wanted to be approved of accepted loved I've never had friends I've never been in a group of friends I don't know if I'm actually very odd or I don't know really what or why. Um, I, I don't know how others see me, you know? I, I am very dedicated to being a very considerate, um, also, like, I like to listen to people and I try not to, like, give advice unless it, hints that they are asking for my advice like I don't know a lot of times I'll meet people and they're like oh I really like your energy or you're so beautiful or like stuff but then it's like okay well how do I get people to be in my life you know and I think that this is kind of my biggest thing I want people in my life you know I always have wished for that um, it's been very empty you know I I wanted to be enjoying uh, companionship and bonds with people you know I want I want my cousin to be able to come on over and hang out and like, hey, let's make dinner together. Hey, it's like I don't even talk to some people that I'm related to. And I messaged my one cousin like she had a, her first baby like about a year and a half ago. And I messaged her on Facebook and I was like, hey, congratulations. Like, I'd really like to start talking or not one thing, not one thing she's seen the message never responded like and then another coach was telling me I just got to feel this stuff in my body like if I want if I want things to happen in real life I need to start feeling it in my body how would I feel in my body not my thoughts not telling myself I'm lovable not telling myself you know anything it's how do I feel? How do I feel? Well, for one, I'd feel warm. <laughs> I don't know how to conjure up a feeling that I've never felt. And I, it's, it gets sometimes very disheartening. Like, I just wish so much for a hug. I really wish for a hug. I wish for a hug. I wish for sex. I wish for holding hands these are things that I I want and then they say what what you want wants you I'm here I'm right here I'm going to get out today. 
I was hoping that somebody would message me or respond. I have put um, put it out there that I would like somebody to maybe go get food with me later. If not, I will go by myself. And I'm going to go to a meeting today for um, rewilding your backyard, which I've been in the process of doing from last year and some years before. Um, I've really got, it really got serious last year because there, I planted a lot. Um, I wouldn't say I planted stuff. I put seeds down is what I did. I'm going to, I'm going to put more seeds down this year. So, that, you know, I'm interested in that. I remember I met this guy off of a dating site or whatever and. Like, I let him come over. You know, he was very local, so it's not like it was just... he's He was safe to have over, whatever. I brought him over, and he's like, Oh, I see why you're on a dating site. You just want a boyfriend so somebody will mow your lawn. I'm like... Dumbass. You dumbass. Um, obviously... A wild yard is important to me. No, I don't want you to mow my fucking lawn. Like, and then he was such a fucking bitch anyway. And when I say bitch, I don't even say it in a bad way. I say it in a way that he was such a female. Like, he just, he was like one of those little like baggy type. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, like. Oh, please, like, oh, give me a, like, I don't know. It was, he was just very, in hit. he was, he felt like a toddler girl. I don't know how to describe it. It was so, he wanted, I don't know what he wanted, but I never saw him after that one time and I did not kiss him. I was kind of like, mm, you're really not turning me on with your weird with your weirdo stuff like not that he was weird it was just this is so many guys so many fucking guys are they're just not masculine I mean it is just a plague something very interesting you know I'm gonna save this for another video because I liked, I, I am interested in this. I, you know, I'm highly interested in relationships. I'm highly interested in males and females. Like this is really interesting to me, human behavior. And I really do have something to talk about what this other guy was talking about. And he like basically described it like so well. And I want to basically repeat what he said and then add like my two cents into there because it was pretty much everything that I was feeling and I'll save that for a day when I'm a little bit more pepped up but you know I wanted to show up I committed to the diaries and I want to commit to doing that for these 11 days um I'm not trying to fake like I'm feeling amazing. I'm a little bewildered today. But, um, I'm showing up anyway. And it is about to be a big weekend. I, I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. I'm going to see who's out there. You know, that's all I can do. I'm going to do my best to take care of myself. And, you know, be just accepting of things. And that's the other thing. Like, I really want to make this video talking about these, um, these new body butters and bath bombs and stuff. And I brought them downstairs 
but I'm afraid that if I make a video like this, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want people to like be really repelled by me or like not want to hear about what I'm talking about because they can sense a sadness in me, you know? And that's why I haven't sometimes, sometimes I don't make videos because I feel like it's just not appropriate it's not appropriate when i'm feeling in these ways to like hey everybody hey like i'm just not feeling that so i could possibly try to fake it but i feel like that kind of shows through like clearly it did when I'm posting selfies, when I'm like, I'm just trying to like change my vibe here. Like I'm trying to be happy. Like I want to feel good. I want to feel pretty. I want to feel like all these like good things, you know? So especially like what she was saying in the challenge, like if there's days that you don't feel that you're that hot and it's like, have a go-to thing that like peps you up okay well putting on my makeup is kind of a go-to thing for me I do feel better but then sometimes I just know that I look better I don't necessarily feel better and so sometimes that's why I just don't bother with things and that's another contradiction so like the theme of this video today is contradiction like, I could get all dressed up and take some hot pictures, and I could look at the pictures and know that I look hot, but if I don't feel a certain way inside, then am I faking? Like, fake it till you make it, or just showing up anyway, you know what I mean? Because they're like, well... You're going to have days where you're, you don't have motivation and you got to do it anyway. Like, especially for people who are working out. Sometimes I really have some good motivation. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm going to get a walk in at the park or I'm going to get my bicycling in or I'm going to get my yoga in. And it's not like I am like, ooh, I'm craving to do this. It's like. I'm committed to doing this no matter what. So that's like this video diary. I didn't say I'm going to make a diary when I feel great. Um, I just committed to just making them. And so, but is that something that you do when you're trying to get a business started? You know what I mean? Like I don't want my pain and my grief to be overshadowing that I'm trying to make a fun, lighthearted, social video. Like, I think I'm just going to not do that today again. I didn't do it yesterday. Um, but I have everything here. I am really excited about this stuff. And I do really want to be successful. And I do want supporters and I do want to make that video, but I also know that I want to feel a bit happier and a little bit peppy, pepped up, you know, uh, hyped up a little more. So I'm going to try again tomorrow, maybe. And I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I really want some love and affection from a sexy man. I really want a good meal. I might go out to lunch tomorrow. You know, I have, I've had to start just doing stuff that I want to do and like go by myself because I just don't have friends or people like and I don't want to say I don't have friends. I mean, I have acquaintances, you know, and sometimes it lines up that they can go out too. 
but a lot of the times it doesn't and I don't have like a certain person you know I don't have like a a person so I, this is what I want to change this is all stuff I want to change and I've been writing down things I'm writing things down you know I want a handful of genuine friends genuine friends that we can talk about anything you know we can talk about relationships we can talk about business we can talk about planning outfits together we can talk about like anything you know I want genuine friendships connections I'm gonna stick with the affirmations god I fucking hate the way this shirt feels see and then part of me is like just go put on a hoodie just be comfortable you're just sitting in your house you know what I mean and then it's like well it's why bother well okay and you know what those freaking girls who sit around and never put makeup on and never do their hair and put their hair up in a bun and wear pajamas every day of their life those are the ones that are in relationships but I don't know if those relationships are good. The friends I do have in relationships, they are miserable. Because these guys that they're with, they're assholes. And I don't want that. If I wanted to be in a horrible relationship with an asshole who didn't care about me, I would have stayed in my marriage. So it's like, yeah, I feel like I'm very lonely being single, but then again, the people that do have relationships, they're completely fucking miserable. So, what's really going on here? It's a very contradictory thing, you know? It's very contradictory. Because I don't have room in my life for somebody who's going to hurt me or stress me out. I just want somebody who wants to eat food together, cuddle, have sex, maybe go on little trips to walk in the woods um, when it's warmer out. Go to the pool with me this summer. Um, maybe give me a little bit of helping hand around here in this broken house. I mean, is this, is this too much? I don't think it is. I really don't think it's too much. So, we keep moving forward. We keep moving forward and, yeah. Okay, day four.